Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. If you're looking for a heat wave or even more prolonged sunny weather, well, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed by this week's 10 day trend. There's no sign of that. There are signs that there'll be some drier and warmer interludes at times during the next 10 days. But on the whole, the 10 day weather can be summed up as heavy showers, hit and miss downpours, slow moving thunderstorms. And it's because our weather will be dominated by low pressure, not just one, but two areas of low pressure really in charge over the next 10 days. The first one comes along later Wednesday into the start of Thursday at first, carried by a fairly straight line jet stream. And so it rushes in quite quickly from the Atlantic. It then ends up across central and northern parts of the UK by Thursday, bringing outbreaks of rain and slow moving showers. Now, there's a bit of a dip in the jet stream to the west and that will help amplify the jet stream, no longer a straight line and becoming detached from this area of low pressure. So the low then becomes slow moving over the UK for the weekend. And that only means that the areas of showers circulating around that low will keep going through Saturday and Sunday, especially across northern parts of the UK. But by Sunday and into Monday, well, the low slowly fills, so ever so slowly into the start of next week, the showers become less widespread and there's a better chance of drier and brighter interludes emerging. But we only have to look further to the west again to see another dip in the jet stream, another area of low pressure, which will start to approach the UK by around the middle of next week. And once again, that will eventually bring the risk of heavy showers and even some thunderstorms. In between these areas of low pressure, a gap, so some drier weather around the middle of next week. But it won't be, a heat wave won't be long lasting. And if we rewind the clock to the start of Thursday, there's the first low. Let's take a look at it as it comes in from the west. It's going to bring an occluded front with it, a fairly ragged feature, typical of a summertime low pressure. And that means rather than a solid mass of rainfall, it's showery rain that affects western areas first thing. And then after a dry and sunny start in the east, those showers move through. And by the afternoon, you can see it's a real mess across the UK. It's cloudy, it's breezy, and we've got outbreaks of rain or showers, some heavy downpours in places, especially to the west. The far north and northeast of Scotland faring best with the lingering drier and sunnier weather for a time, but effectively for most, eventually it's going to turn unsettled from the west and it's going to feel cool as a result. Now for Northern Ireland here, the low pressure centre comes along by the end of Thursday and that brings the risk of slow moving thunderstorms that could bring transport disruption as well as localised flooding. And the centre of the low by Friday moves across these central parts of the UK and again brings the risk of slow moving torrential downpours, thunderstorms and hail, especially for parts of southern Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England and North Wales, where once again, thunderstorm warning in force, risk of travel disruption could be a busy travel day on Friday. So bear that in mind and risk of localised flooding because of these slow moving showers and thunderstorms. Elsewhere, there will be showers fairly widely across the UK, so it's certainly a day for keeping up to date with the rainfall radar on the Met Office app, for example, to watch where these showers are approaching. There will be some sunshine in between, but don't be fooled, these showers will move through. And in the south, they'll move through quite quickly on what will be quite a keen breeze, likewise for the north of Scotland. And obviously it's going to feel cool where we've got these uh, downpours moving through. Given some sunshine in between, not too unpleasant, 22 Celsius perhaps, but where we've got the showers coming and going, high teens at best. And this occluded front around the area of low pressure could bring some more prolonged rain to northeast Scotland and then to Northern Ireland, northwest England, North Wales on Friday night and into the start of Saturday. Again, needs watching 30 millimetres in an hour and where we get showers aligned together, one or two spots could get 80 millimetres on Friday and perhaps on Saturday as well. They'll move through more quickly on Saturday, once again in the south where these isobars are closer together. But for all intents and purposes, Saturday is another day of some sunshine, but also watch out for those heavy showers and those thunderstorms that will occur. Now into Sunday, the low by this stage you can see is starting to fill. It's still close to the northeast of Scotland. It's still carrying areas of rain or showers with it. So let's just call it another showery day. But I think on Sunday afternoon, fewer showers in the south and a better chance of some drier and brighter interludes in between. But it's not going to help temperatures, high teens, low 20s 
at best. So over the next five days, heavy showers. Widespread at first on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. More scattered later by Sunday and Monday with a better chance of some sunny spells coming through and a better chance of many places avoiding the showers altogether if you're in the right place at the right time. And you can see how the weather is settling down a little as we start off next week. The low pressure by this stage has filled, but still enough proximity to this dip in the jet stream to bring further scattered showers on Monday and perhaps on to Tuesday as well. Then we only have to look out to the west to see another dip in the jet stream and another area of low pressure, which will approach us by the middle of next week. And so by the middle of next week, here's how the pattern is likely to look. That low and that dip in the jet stream sits to the west of the UK. Now ahead of it, let's say Wednesday into Thursday, well, depending on how the jet stream is shaping up, we could draw up some drier, sunnier and warmer weather, especially into eastern parts of the UK for a couple of days. But the low to the west is also likely to bring out breaks of rain or showers into western areas. Now in weather forecasting, sometimes we can be quite confident on the sequence of events, but less confident on the timing. And we're still talking a week ahead. This low doesn't even exist at the moment. And a subtle difference in how amplified this jet stream is, let's say if it was slightly more amplified than it is as pictured, then it would delay the timing at which that low moves in from the west by a day or so. And so that's what I mean by some uncertainty on the timing rather than the sequence, because it looks likely that that low will eventually move in, will be to the cool side of the jet stream. It will turn more widely cool and showery later next week. But if that's delayed, then there's a better chance of having some drier, warmer and sunnier weather for at least a few days before the low moves in. Either way, the low comes along eventually by the end of next week. And so those showers in the west eventually move more widely across the UK and it's going to be on the cool side as a result. So next week, drier and warmer for a time. Yeah, there'll be some sunshine to enjoy, say, Monday to Wednesday or perhaps for another day or so. But eventually, rain or showers in the west will move east across the UK. And again, we're going to be talking about those hit and miss downpours and perhaps thunderstorms. Typical British summertime weather, perhaps. No sign of a heat wave. Stay up to date with the Met Office on social media, as always. And of course, my best tip for avoiding those showers is to watch them on the Met Office app. Bye bye.